As the war in Ukraine enters its fourth year, the stark realities of the conflict have only intensified. On the 1,000th day since Vladimir Putin's brutal full-scale invasion, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky delivered an impassioned plea to the European Parliament, urging the continent to push Russia harder in its efforts to end the devastating war. Zelensky's address came amid reports that Ukraine may have used the US-supplied Adams long-range missile system to strike a target deep inside Russia. While the details remain unconfirmed, the very prospect of such an operation underscores the increasingly high stakes and tit-for-tat nature of the conflict. If you're new to our channel, please leave a like as well as a sub so you never miss another video. In a powerful address to the European Parliament, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky urged Europe to intensify its pressure on Russia, warning that time is not on Ukraine's side. Zelensky believes that Vladimir Putin is determined to prolong the conflict in a bid to wear down the resolve of Ukraine and its Western allies. The more time he, Putin, has, the worse the conditions become, Zelensky told the European lawmakers, emphasizing the urgent need for a decisive and sustained European response. This analysis delves into the key points raised by Zelensky, the strategic dynamics underlying the conflict, and the broader implications for Europe and the international community. Zelensky struck a tone of unwavering determination, tempered by a clear-eyed assessment of the challenges ahead. He underscored the significance of the milestone, noting that Ukraine had been engaged in an extremely complex, fierce battle for our existence for the past 1,000 days. Zelensky's primary message centered on the need for Europe to maintain and even escalate its support for Ukraine, arguing that Putin will not stop on his own and that Russia must be pushed harder toward a just peace. This sentiment reflects Ukraine's growing frustration with what it perceives as waning European resolve in the face of the Kremlin's relentless aggression. Notably, Zelensky warned that some European leaders may be more preoccupied with their own political concerns than the urgent needs of Ukraine. This pointed remark highlights Ukraine's perception that it is being used as a bargaining chip by certain European policymakers who may be tempted to seek a premature or unfavorable peace settlement in order to appease domestic political constituencies. Zelensky's call for heightened European pressure on Russia comes against the backdrop of an increasingly complex and fluid strategic landscape, including reports of Ukraine's potential use of the US-supplied Adams long-range missile system to strike a target deep within Russia, and the reported deployment of North Korean troops to support Russian forces. As the war in Ukraine enters its fourth year, the stakes for Europe continue to rise. Zelensky's impassioned plea is a stark reminder that Europe's role in this struggle is not merely one of benevolent support, but of strategic necessity. The outcome of the conflict will have far-reaching implications for the continent's security, stability, and geopolitical influence. While some European leaders think about some elections, or something like this, at Ukraine's expense, Putin is focused on winning this war, he stated bluntly. Zelensky's message was clear, Ukraine's survival and sovereignty must remain the paramount concern for Europe, not the political calculus of individual nations. The past year has seen both sides engage in a grinding battle of attrition, with neither able to achieve a decisive breakthrough. However, certain developments have added new dimensions to the conflict. The potential use of Adams missiles. The reports of Ukraine potentially employing the US-supplied Adams long-range missile system to strike a target deep within Russia, if confirmed, would represent a significant escalation in the conflict. The Adams, with a range of up to 300 kilometers, would grant Ukraine the ability to hit Russian logistics and command centers much farther from the front lines. While the details remain unverified, the mere possibility of such an operation has sent shockwaves through the international community. It highlights Ukraine's determination to expand the geographic scope of the war and target Russia's core strategic assets, rather than limiting its focus to the immediate battlefield. This development also raises the specter of potential retaliation from Moscow, which has consistently warned that any attacks on Russian territory would be met with a severe response. The Kremlin's recently updated nuclear doctrine, which expands the circumstances under which Russia may use nuclear weapons, further compounds these concerns. The involvement of North Korean troops. Another significant development mentioned by Zelensky is the reported deployment of North Korean troops to support Russian forces in Ukraine. 
This reflects the increasingly global nature of the conflict, as Putin seeks to bolster his military capabilities by enlisting the support of non-traditional allies. The presence of North Korean troops on the battlefield not only underscores the Kremlin's desperation for manpower but also introduces new variables into the strategic equation. Their involvement could potentially alter the dynamics of the fighting, particularly in areas where they are deployed. Moreover, the deployment of North Korean troops represents a concerning deepening of ties between Moscow and Pyongyang, two pariah states facing international isolation. This alignment has broader geopolitical implications, potentially strengthening authoritarian regimes and challenging the international order. Zelensky's concerns about the escalation of the conflict are well-founded, as the involvement of new actors and the potential use of advanced weaponry raise the stakes and increase the risk of further destabilization. Zelensky's impassioned plea to the European Parliament underscores the critical role that Europe must continue to play in supporting Ukraine's fight for sovereignty. As the conflict drags on, the Ukrainian leader has become increasingly vocal in his demands for sustained and strengthened European commitment. This sharp rebuke reflects Ukraine's growing concern that European resolve may be waning, as the economic and political costs of the conflict continue to mount. The prolonged nature of the war has fostered a sense of war fatigue in some quarters, with calls for a negotiated settlement gaining traction. However, Zelensky's message is clear, Ukraine cannot afford any wavering in European support. He believes that only by maintaining and even escalating pressure on Russia can a just peace be achieved, one that preserves Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity. His emphasis on the need for a just peace underscores Ukraine's unwavering commitment to securing an outcome that goes beyond a mere cessation of hostilities. For Kiev, a just peace would entail the complete withdrawal of Russian forces from Ukrainian territory, including the Crimean Peninsula, which was illegally annexed by Moscow in 2014. This position is rooted in Ukraine's conviction that any peace settlement that falls short of restoring its territorial sovereignty would be fundamentally unjust and unsustainable. Zelensky has consistently rejected the notion of a frozen conflict, where Russia maintains a permanent military presence on Ukrainian soil. The Ukrainian leader's insistence on a just peace reflects the country's determination to reclaim its rightful place as a sovereign and independent nation, free from the shadow of Russian domination. This stance has significant implications for the trajectory of the conflict and the eventual shape of any negotiated settlement. As the war in Ukraine enters its fourth year, the European Union has emerged as a pivotal actor, providing substantial military, economic, and humanitarian aid to Kiev. However, Zelensky's speech underscores the need for Europe to further strengthen its commitment and take on an even more assertive role in the conflict. The Ukrainian leader's call for Europe to push Russia harder suggests that he believes the current level of support, while significant, is insufficient to turn the tide of the war. Zelensky likely sees the need for Europe to explore additional sanctions, diplomatic pressure, and even the provision of more advanced military capabilities to Ukraine. Moreover, Zelensky's warning about the potential distraction of European leaders' domestic political concerns highlights the delicate balance that the continent must strike. European policymakers must simultaneously address the needs of their own constituents while maintaining a steadfast focus on supporting Ukraine's fight for freedom. As the war drags on, the stakes for Europe continue to rise. As the world marks the 1,000th day of Russia's brutal invasion of Ukraine, the conflict has become a pivotal moment in the broader struggle for global order and the preservation of democratic values. Zelensky's speech to the European Parliament underscores the Ukrainian people's unrelenting resolve to defend their sovereignty and territorial integrity, even in the face of daunting challenges. Zelensky's warnings about the potential escalation of the conflict, including the reported use of long-range missiles and the involvement of North Korean troops, underscore the rapidly evolving and increasingly complex strategic landscape. Ultimately, Zelensky's impassioned plea to the European Parliament serves as a clarion call for sustained and strengthened support from the continent. The stakes for Europe and the international community are high. The outcome of the war in Ukraine will have far-reaching implications for the future of the European security architecture, the credibility of international institutions, and the broader struggle between democratic and authoritarian forces on the global stage. 
As Ukraine continues to fight for its survival, the world watches with a mix of admiration and trepidation. Zelensky's message to Europe is clear, the time for equivocation and complacency has passed. The future of Ukraine, and by extension, the future of Europe and the liberal international order, hangs in the balance. It is a challenge that the continent cannot afford to ignore or fail to meet with the full force of its resolve and resources. Thanks for watching till the end, if you enjoyed this video please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.